Assalamu alaikum. I'm back again. And as a per request by one of my viewers, I am going to attempt to remake my Kibla compass, my Kibla compass video. You know, that other one it turned out was a bit blurry, so I'm trying a little something different. I got my camera sitting on one of my speakers. So here is the compass and I'll try to get a close up. You can see the numbers on the dial that has it around it. Wait, back up. It might be hard to see, but the numbers oops, going this way. The numbers correspond to the to the direction or circumference up to you know, 40 degrees, 60 degrees, 100, you know, whatever, up to, you know, 360 is a full circle. And the moving pointer is the magnetic one. As I turn it, you know, it'll kind of shift. And then the stationary one that's actually drawn on the dial itself, that is how you align on the Kibla direction or facing the Kaaba. And you determine your Kibla direction by either using a booklet that might come with the compass if you buy one. This one did, but it was old and didn't have very many towns on it. So I use islamicfinder.net and there are other sources or you can go to your uh, masjid. And I'll use Des Moines as an example. It's uh, 44.1 degrees from you know, north clockwise, so that would be like shifting it east. And see, you, you lay the compass down on the surface, either a floor or a table. And I have it on the little pouch as kind of a background, just so it shows up better. And then, let's see if I can. I have to hold the camera with one end, otherwise it might fall off my speaker. So anyway, what uh, you do is once you determine your the what the degrees is, like as I said, 44.1 clockwise from north, you take the arrow, the you let the compass go, you, you let it settle till the needle points north and then you turn you turn it slowly until you get to what would be your direction so like like this or it could be if you're in another location it could be like that Or, oops, let me get it back. Camera view. Actually, I'll just go ahead and turn it to what it would be with my. And that would approximately be, let's see, maybe I can slide it. Get better view. There, you should be able to see that. That is approximately, let's just call it 44 because you can't get that precise with, with a little compass like this. But then once that's settled, then you know you are facing the Kaaba for your prayer. And you can do it anywhere as long as you know which what the good what the degree direction is you know from like a, from north or whatever you know if if you're in the, if you're west of mecca it would be from north or you know might be from south it it all depends on your location you know if i was in the rio de janeiro i would have a different a different 
a direction to go by. But I just chose to put it out. It would be for Des Moines, Iowa here in the U.S. So I hope this helps. I hope this is a little clearer for you. And uh, then that's basically how you use a Kibla compass. And uh, so it's helpful for travel. For instance, uh, if I'm going, if I'm doing an all day shopping and I don't have time to go to the masjid or I'm too far away or I just don't want to bother with it. If I want, if I want to pray right there in uh, where I'm shopping, then I just put that down on the table or on our floor. I, uh, I turn it to where it needs to be and I let it settle and then I pray. You know, you can take it to school, you can take it to work, you, know, you can take it on vacation if you're not going to have access to a masjid. Or if you're in a group situation and a whole bunch of you are praying and you don't know which way to face, like I've, I've done it before, I pulled this thing out and said, I got a compass, you know, I use it. So, that, so the Iman says, sure. So he takes my compass, puts it down, lets it settle. And uh, so that's how, that's how it worked. And then we solved that problem real quick. And so we were able to face the, the Qibla properly and our prayer was good. So I hope this helps, and uh, I thank you for the comment, you know, about the, my last video. So I was able to remake it for you, and uh, so assalamu alaikum, dovrejanya, and miyasir mila.